Hello and welcome to WIT-AM, a daily look at world, national and regional news along with sports, campus events and weather. I'm Brandon Martin. Hundreds of Chicago nurses could go on strike this weekend if contract negotiations don't improve. This nurse spoke at a rally held last night at the UIC Medical Center. The nurses are fighting for access to PPE, better pay and staffing. Candles were lit to remember the lives of UIC nurses who have died from COVID-19. The nurses union has set a strike day for Saturday. UI Health released a statement saying they are committed to reaching a fair deal and will do everything they can to avoid a work stoppage. Vi Vice President Mike Pence is calling for a stop to violence in U.S. cities. Speaking in Wisconsin, he said there's no place for rioting and looting in places like Kenosha. He promised criminals will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. The Vice President also said Joe Biden's policies would lead to more violence. Altoona police report that officers shot 51-year-old Des Moines man to death during an exchange of gunfire at a motel Monday morning. Officers were responding to a suspicious person with a weapon a little after 8.30 a.m. They say Jeffrey Meyer had a gun in his hand when he was shot by Altoona police detective David Lowe and Polk County deputy Jason Tart. Meyer died before he could be taken to a hospital. The incident was caught on body cameras and dash cameras inside the squad cars. The Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation is helping with the case. Hundreds of students marched to the Iowa Governor's Mansion Monday, protesting the suspension of sports activities and the decision to start the school year online. The Student March for Fairness was put together after Iowa High School Activities Association announced last week that all in-person activities and sports would be suspended. The students from the Des Moines Public Schools and the Ames Community School District say they want fairness and the ability to compete. When we come back, I will have a look at your WIT TV weather and entertainment news. Stay with us. Western Iowa Tech's Video and Media Production Program has been awarded an Upper Midwest Emmy Foundation 2019 Student Production Crystal Pillar Award. This award was presented by the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences for Excellence in Production. Hello Comets, my name is Important. Congratulations on joining the Western Iowa Tech Community College family. Now that you're here, we want to make sure you feel at home. That's why we've decided to implement the chosen name policy, which gives you the power to choose how you're identified within your community at WIT. The chosen name policy will include your preferred name within your student email, your roster, and your student ID. So what is a chosen name? A chosen name could be a nickname, a middle name, or a name that affirms your gender identity. It's up to you. Pretty much it's a name that you could choose to go by. It's different than your legal name, which is the name on your driver's license, passport, birth certificate, or any other government-issued document. To get started, visit MyWIT and let us know your chosen name. We're glad that you're here, and we want to get to know you. And this is a great place to start. Welcome back. In entertainment news, criticism for Disney's live-action remake of Mulan is growing. While the new film is already a subject of a pro-democracy boycott, Disney is now receiving backlash for filming the scenes in China's Xinjiang province, where Beijing is accused of carrying out human rights abuse against Uyghur Muslims. The studio appears to have put credits in the official, an official thank you message to the Chinese government agencies involved in the alleged abuses. Following Milan's release on Disney Plus Friday, some viewers noticed a special thanks in the movies and credits to eight government agencies in Xinjiang. Genetically enhanced mice that were aboard the International Space Station are revealing clues that could lead to health advancements in zero gravity. Published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences Monday, the study shows the mighty mice produced a molecule that helped prevent muscle and bone density loss while in space. It also promoted the recovery of muscle and bone mass once they returned to Earth. The results could help develop therapies for astronauts before they head into space. Taking a look at today's weather, 
Today it will be rainy with a high of 49. Tonight, showers will continue after 1 a.m. and a low of 43. Tomorrow, rain is likely before 1 p.m., cloudy, and a high near 52. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check up on all the latest WIT TV programming on our website and on our YouTube page. I'll be back tomorrow.